Hello and welcome back to Electrology. If you're passionate about electrical engineering and power systems, you're in the right place. Today, we are going to discuss an essential concept in transformer protection, zero-sequence filtering. This is used to eliminate the zero-sequence current component from the secondary current of a current transformer in differential protection of a transformer. This technique is particularly useful in transformers with an earthed star winding. So, let's dive deep into it. To understand the need for zero-sequence filtering, let's consider a delta star transformer with a voltage ratio of 1 to 1. We assume a 1 to 1 ratio just to keep things simple. Now, suppose a single line-to-ground fault occurs in the R phase on the secondary side of the transformer. As we know, a ground fault causes fault current to flow through the R phase, which consists of zero sequence I0, positive sequence I1, and negative sequence I2 current components. However, the zero sequence current I0 flows only on the earthed star side of the transformer and does not appear on the delta side. Instead, it circulates within the delta winding, this means that the line currents on the delta side do not contain any zero sequence current. This creates an imbalance in the differential current, which may cause the differential relay to trip even in a through fault condition. Let's understand this with numerical data. Assume that the fault current is 100 amperes. This current flows through the ground and the RN winding on the star side. Since a single line-to-ground fault consists of equal positive, negative, and zero-sequence components, the zero-sequence current will be I0 equals one-third of 100 plus zero plus zero, which equals 100 divided by 3. Now, as 100 amperes flows in the RN winding of the star side, the corresponding delta side winding AB also has 100 amperes flowing, as the voltage ratio is unity. The zero sequence current component of I0 ampere will circulate within the delta loop. So the line current in AS will be 100 minus I0 amperes, while the RN winding in the star side still has 100 amperes. This results in a differential current of I0 ampere being sensed by the relay, causing it to trip even though the fault is outside the protected zone. This is why zero sequence filtering is necessary in the differential protection of delta star and star delta transformers to keep the differential relay stable during through fault conditions. In star star transformers, zero sequence filtering may or may not be required, but it is recommended to enable it. Now, how do we eliminate the zero sequence current? Traditionally, this was achieved through proper selection of current transformer or CT connections. For a delta star transformer, the CTs on the delta side are connected in star, while the CTs on the star side are connected in delta. But why? Since zero sequence current cannot flow in a delta winding, the line current, which is IA minus IB, does not contain any zero sequence component. This means that the CT secondary currents, I1, I2, and I3, on the delta side, will also not have zero-sequence current components. You might wonder why we don't connect these CTs in delta. Well, in transformer differential protection, phase correction is required due to the 30-degree phase shift between delta and star. To compensate for this, we connect the CTs in a star configuration. Similarly, on the star side, the CTs are connected in delta to correct the phase shift. Another benefit of this delta connection is that in case of a single line-to-ground fault, the zero-sequence current component will circulate within the delta loop, preventing it from reaching the relay. With modern numerical relays, we no longer need special CT secondary connections to filter out zero-sequence currents. Both the delta and star side CTs are connected in star and fed directly into the relay. The relay then calculates the zero sequence current using the formula. I0 equals the sum of IA, IB and IC divided by 3. The relay then subtracts this zero sequence current, I0, from the phase current input. So if the CT input to the relay is IA, 
the relay uses IA minus I0 for differential calculation. For example, if the fault current is 100 amperes and the zero sequence current is I0 amperes, then after filtering, the relay will receive 100 minus I0 amperes on both the star and delta sides. This means there is no differential current and the relay remains stable during through faults. But remember, for numerical relays to filter zero sequence currents, you must enable this feature in the relay settings. So that's how zero sequence filtering is used in transformer differential protection. Whether through traditional CT connections or modern numerical relay filtering, this process ensures that the differential relay remains stable during through faults and operates only when necessary. We hope this explanation was clear and helpful. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and drop a comment if you have any questions. Also, if you enjoy our content, you can support us by clicking the thanks button for a one-time contribution or joining our channel for exclusive perks. Subscribe to Electrology and hit the bell icon for more insightful videos on electrical engineering and power systems. See you in the next video.